Crypticons here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode two, and today we're going to be doing classes. We're currently at 772 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe and like that video if you're enjoying it. And now let's get on with it. So basically, a class is where you declare your methods and your fields, and your which are your variables. So we're gonna make a class real quick. This should be a pretty easy one. So first, ooh, this is dead marker. We start with defining as public. And then we use the keyword class. So we know this is a class. And for your first class, or at least one of your classes in your script, it's gotta be the same one as your script name. So let's say our script name is um, school.cs. Let's say we're making a school, all right? Then we gotta make this class school. So then we have our first class, school. One thing I wanna show you real quick, and I'm not gonna get into this, um, now, but here you'll probably see this in some videos is you'll see this colon right here and you'll see something like I Disposable this is an interface being implemented into the code So I personally have never used them really so I'm not gonna explain what they are because I don't exactly I can't really exactly explain what they are since I've never used them. So we're just gonna ignore that But I just thought I'd show you real quick so basically, this is your class. It's pretty easy to set up. And this is where you can have your variables, your fields, such as public double number. Or you can have a string, public string name, and so on. That's it. Um, so now if you're going to create an object out of like a main like a main uh class like this let's move this up here what we can do is something like this so let's create another class public class classroom okay so what we can do here is every single class has a few methods predefined in it. We have a public string to string. So if we return this classroom in here somewhere, it'll print out all your variables in a special way by default. So we can override it, which I'll do in a different video. And we can also have a bunch of stuff in here. And um, each of them has a, a default constructor, which is where we define our default variables for the, for the stuff inside the class. And if we create it up here, we can make a custom stuff in here, which I'll, that'll be a whole different video. So basically we can create a classroom or we can create an object by doing this. Public classroom. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Room equals new. Oh, we gotta, we gotta make a name. Uh, let's just put room one equals new classroom like that. That is how you declare a new object or that's how you create a new class, a class type classroom, just like that. And that is also how you write one. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me down in the comments below. Uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. I'm just um, doing this based on memory, all right? Anyways, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and turn on notifications. Peace.